leafy greens. As you can see here, I have a grand selection of fresh greens, all different varieties. The key to successful greens is to make sure that they are washed correctly and stored correctly. Here I have some mescaline mix, which has been washed already. Will I wash it again? Absolutely. This will ensure that I will get no grit left in my lettuce when I come to make my salad. I have also here some vegetables that I would use for braising. These also need washed. These are grown in very sandy soils. So these have to be, you have to pay particular attention to these ones to ensure that the sand is removed. To clean these greens, the first thing here, we're going to agitate the leaves and this will get most of this, the grit or sand off. Make sure you drain or knock the vegetables to get that water off and then it transfer in to another sink of clean, fresh water and totally submerge the greens. At this point, when you're happy you've got all the grit off, lay them into a colander to allow them to drain. I'm giving them a little squeeze here because they are tough. Once you've done this, what I like to do is just to take off the part or the trim that I'm not going to use and pop that and that could just get put away. The usable trim here we lay onto a perforated hotel pan. So I'll do that again. You just tear this piece off and lay it onto a hotel pan. As with most greens, what you need to do is to ensure that there is no air coming into contact with the greens which will dry it out. So I have here some clean paper towel, lightly moistened in some water, which I'm going to lay over the top. The last part of this would really just to be to cover it in saran wrap and place it in the refrigerator. I have also here some delicate lettuces, like frise, which is very delicate, but once again, we must wash them. Even fresh herbs, parsley, we have to make sure that we clean this parsley and dry it and store it correctly so that we may have good yield and a good lifespan. Even with herbs, I give it my second wash and I tap off the excess. Now be very careful, these are delicate. And then you allow them to drain for a little while in your colander. Once they have drained sufficiently, again, carefully, and now I like to keep the herbs whole at this point, take a damp paper towel, clean of course, and roll it gently. Do not roll it too tight so the herbs are protected. This then can be wrapped in saran wrap, placed in the refrigerator, and sometimes can be labeled on the outside.